Assalamualaikum and a very good day. So in this video session, I will discuss about statistical validation and testing procedure by using our programming. Okay, so you can refer in your textbook page 188. Okay, for this example, but I want to highlight uh, the statistical validation by using R. Okay, so what is R? Okay, R is actually a free source software. You can use, you can distribute freely. Okay, so when you open your R Studio after you install your uh, following, okay, you following the step to install the R Studio, you will get this uh, kind of interface. All right. So for R Studio, uh, it divide uh, the our workspace into four pane. Okay, like window four pane. So this particular pane is uh, specifically for uh, certain work, uh, certain uh, certain works. As example here, this is uh, okay one two three. Okay, uh, so as we can see here, this is our script editor. We call it as script editor. It means that you can write it first. Uh, after that, you can run. Run it where? Run it in the console right so suppose that as example here you want to assign x as 6 and then uh, you can click here or you just can click run so the thing that uh, r will read this uh, particular uh, programs under uh, in the console pane all right so now our uh, x now have uh, the value of 6 that's the thing uh, just a simple things okay so in here in our in my notes okay uh, i don't want to necessary to highlight okay how you have to make sure that you know everything about oh, no it's not it's not that things that i want to highlight okay if you follow you can follow my uh, okay my programming here okay uh, as example here library the the dynlm right uh, so you can paste first in our script and then you just run okay uh, now uh, when you get this uh, uh, this particular message okay it means that we are ready to proceed the next step okay uh, and again you can copy all right and then Piece and so on okay proceed okay so the thing is uh, okay uh, this uh, particular uh, red color here is the function okay uh, so if uh, it says that there is no package and so on so on uh, so the thing that we need to do is to install the packages right so for the first time user okay uh, you might need to install these packages dui and lm car and lm test because for the new version is i'm not mistaken foreign is already installed in our r right okay so next let's take a look at uh, suppose that you have problem to install this r studio you can start with the standard GUI okay uh, the standard R GUI so this is the interface okay uh, instead of uh, R studio that have many pain okay now your standard R GUI will only uh, when you uh, really op uh, you open it as a new document it will give us the console first okay uh, so as we can see here this console is the same as uh, the same as uh, the console in our R studio right so here when you install R you just make sure what is your version okay uh, so my version is actually uh, last updated on 2018 okay uh, so it, it depends on the uh, new some uh, new version might have new features and so on okay so that's the thing okay let's take a look at uh, the example here All right so after we uh, okay you al you always have to read 
the package the outside packages okay uh, so some packages is already in R that's you don't need to do some library and so on what but if the library is not exist in R you have to call it right okay so let's take a look on how can how do we uh, model the regression uh, the econometric model by using R right so this is the equation okay I will okay uh, right so this is the equation okay this is uh, data one it means that after this uh, we will use uh, data one here as our data set and here lm function here is the function for uh, linear model lm right so you have to put the dv first and then this tilde uh, operator with okay uh, you just simply adding okay this is uh, your I first iv second iv third iv plus eh? and uh, for iv and so on you just run and then to get this output you have to use summary function towards this object regression one and you will get this output so what are the thing that you can see from based on what you can get based on this summary right and uh, the first thing is you can get the f statistic right where we can get the f statistic this is where you can read the f statistic right uh, so the e negative zero uh E negative zero nine is actually a scientific way to write three point six nine nine times ten negative zero point nine. It means that you can move these decimal places uh, nine uh, nine uh, nine places to the left. Okay, one two three four five. It means that it is uh, lower than alpha zero point zero five. So we can say that uh, and so on and so on. Okay, I just want to highlight the output okay next the regression coefficient t statistic all right uh, so this is actually the t statistic for each regression coefficient again how do we read this okay uh, so here they give us uh, star star means one star mean it's significant at okay zero point Zero 0.05 the value of our probability is less than 0 0.05 uh, so that's why it produces the okay uh, star here okay it means that uh, besides GD, gnp all others variable produce insignificant t statistic all right okay next the r square the n r adjusted r square so the value is here you can get the value for r square and adjust r square here okay so the explanation okay closer to one okay uh, better uh, suppose that we compare with two different model okay uh, so we say that uh, model with higher uh, value may produce uh, may uh, may have a good uh, model fit rather than the lowest one okay right so that's the thing that we can get from the summary function okay next we want to check the multi collinearity okay so for multi collinearity you have to use vif function towards the regression model and we can calculate the tolerance based on this uh, vif all right so when you write this particular function you will have okay this value so how can we interpret the vif and uh, this uh, tolerance okay so we say that multi collinearity exists when okay uh, it produces okay it produce vis larger than 10 so this is actually one of the significant uh, uh, significant vi uh, multi pro problem here as we can see here 
Okay, uh, so it means that uh, some remedial action need to be done uh, if this particular problem happen. Okay, uh, what are the remedial? Okay, so uh, you can read this remedial action in page 198. Okay, uh, for summary, one of it. Suppose that uh, the presence of multi T does not affect the forecasting performance, you can retain uh, the IVs. But suppose that uh, okay, uh, this particular uh, IVs affect to our forecast, you can okay, drop these variables okay, and so on. But of course, uh, you, you have to uh, select Okay, uh, select the model first. Okay, before we proceed with the multi uh, summary. Okay, uh, 